So I'm Nick Baker. Um, I'm best known for my love of invertebrates, for creepy crawlies. Um, but I also work a lot with birds. I'm a keen bird watcher, I'm a keen memologist, I'm kind of into everything, I'm an all-rounder. Um, one of my jobs is as a well, kind of teacher. I'm a fellow of natural history here at Winchester College. And uh, when the BTO told me about the What's Under Your Feet uh, project, I couldn't believe it. This is like my favorite subject meets my other favorite subject meets one of my jobs, which is teaching. So this is what we're doing here. Ah, oh, look, yeah, look at that. See, I like these things. So um, this, yeah, this is a, um, a, a, a we call them maybugs or cockchafers, um, also known as a rookworm. So there we are, there's a great link between what we're doing and the thing itself. So um, if you've ever seen these things, this is a, a this very distinctive C-shaped grub yeah, when you see um, these things, I mean, they're one of my, again, they're one of the fabulous sort of things. We see rooks um, uh, uh, running in, uh, across a field, um, turning it over. These are the things that make up a huge portion of their diet. Or so we assume, anyway. That's, that's traditionally is what they were, they were seen to be feeding on. And it'd be very interesting to know just how popular or how common these things are as well. These um, small versions. Oh, yes, you've got loads. Oh, that's yeah. brilliant. Oh, that that's fantastic. See, who would really have thought? Good. Who would have thought that these were here in decent numbers? So that means, um, you know, obviously, they take a, a couple of years underground, I believe, these things. So um, in a couple of years' time, um, these will be turning into um, the, 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 the maybugs that we, we know and love as they, the ones that buzz around the street lamps. It's, it's the life that we don't think about. I mean, you just think every time you see a green space, I mean, as a naturalist, you kind of hope that every time you see a green space, there's things underneath it. Um, and when you actually bother to do this, you'll be surprised at the numbers that you'll turn up. I mean, the soil is absolutely crawling. Every single one of these creatures has a life cycle, and these life cycles are, are spinning around um, right under our very feet, hence the name uh, of the project. And of course, they're not happening independent of other creatures that we maybe will find slightly more appealing. So of course, if you're a bird watcher, if you're into your birds, then this is exactly what the birds in your garden or on your local playing field or in the hedgerows are actually feeding on. So without these, you don't have the birds. And that is the whole point of this project. It's trying to link the abundance of the creatures in the soil with the health of other species. And of course, some of these things are, um, you know, are the larval stages of wing things. So, so these, uh, the leather jackets, Oh, we're assuming these are leather jackets. We've got all sorts of things here. We've got nem nematodes, we've got leather jackets, which are the larval forms of crane flies. This bit, you might not think is very, very exciting, but when they turn into winged insects, actually you probably won't find them exciting either, but they'll be up there in the summer. They'll be buzzing around the trees in the sky here. And that's what your swifts, your swallows, uh, your house martins, and at night, what your bats um, and your night jars, etc., etc., are gonna be feeding on. So these are very, very relevant. And that's what I love about this project. It's making these things, the things that I love and spend a lot of my time poring over, it's making these things relevant to the bigger picture. It's about time. <laughs>